1919, with major events like the influenza pandemic, the Chicago race riot, and the National Steel Strike, Chicago White Sox fans looked to their beloved Southside Nine for a distraction. The star players who propelled the 1917 Sox to a World Series championship helped them capture the 1919 American League pennant. The White Sox entered the Fall Classic as heavy favorites against the National League champion, Cincinnati Reds. Something was amiss, though. As the World Series began, rumors spread that the Sox might lose the series on purpose. By the eighth and final game, some sports writers already knew about the fix, including Fred Lieb. He heard a rumor in the Comiskey Park's men's room that the game would be over quickly. The Reds scored five runs in the first two innings of Game 8 to win it 10-5, and with that, the World Series 5-3. Some White Sox did intentionally play poorly to lose on purpose and received cash bribes arranged by some shady characters, including A. Battelle. In turn, some gamblers made big money betting on the long shot Reds. Following his team's defeat, White Sox owner Charles Comiskey hired Hunter Secret Service to investigate his players, including outfielder Happy Felsch. In a Chicago courtroom in the fall of 1920, Judge Charles A. McDonald impaneled a grand jury to examine corruption in baseball. The investigation quickly focused on the 1919 World Series. In a deposition as part of these proceedings, Sox pitcher Eddie Seacott stated that some of the players got the idea to lose on purpose from the 1918 Chicago Cubs. The Northsiders lost the 1918 World Series to the Boxen Red Sox in six games and allegedly received 10000 for throwing the championship. In the summer of 1921, the White Sox players, who were accused of participating in the fix, went on trial in Chicago for conspiracy to defraud the public. The most famous player accused was outfielder Shoeless Joe Jackson. During the trial, he testified about his conversations with Sox management in 1920 regarding the fix. To this day, many believed he didn't cheat, while others say he definitely did. On August 2, 1921, in Judge Hugo M. Friend's crowded courtroom, the jury found all remaining defendants in the Black Sox trial not guilty. The next day, Major League Baseball Commissioner Judge Kennesaw Martin Landis banned Eddie Seacott Happy Felsch, Chick Gandel, Joe Jackson, Fred McMullen, Swede Reesberg, Buck Weaver, and Lefty Williams from organized baseball forever. While acquitted, they would never play in the major leagues again. Even a century later, baseball historians argue about who cheated and who didn't, and fans of 1919 White Sox third baseman Buck Weaver continue with their clear buck campaign. <laughs>